Hello friends, and this is the third video in a series of tooling of Scandi PWA. And today we will talk about the code style formatters and helpers to write a cleaner code and to match and to stay consistent throughout the application. And those tools are YesLint and StyleLint. While the YesLint is a linter for ECMAScript, for JavaScript, and StyleLint is a linter for your styles. Well, let's start first with YesLint. To do it, you need to open the project in your VS Code. And the, by project, I mean to open the uh to open the this file oh, i'm sorry <laughs> not this one uh exit um let's open the pwa open in terminal and this is the path so esther c up design front end scan develop pwa so we open this up and inside we can see that we have this dot yes linter c dot example we need to remove the dot sample file sample postfix in order to create our own yes linter c configuration and it will have some information inside additionally we need to go into extensions and search for yes lint and this will pop up so you will need to enable to install it and enable after you do it your vs code will start to provide you with uh with some tips like here for example the breadcrumbs has already been declared and etc so export default class doesn't work and we need to do simple export default of what of the breadcrumbs and here we go this is how you can use the and configure yes lint inside of this file you might also find multiple configurations and rules which you can alter if you doesn't like if you don't like how the original file works also also uh, you can uh, you can use following command npm run yes lint uh, scan uh, yes lint simply and this will uh, scan the project for linter issues as you might see there are none at the moment or you can run yes lint fix to fix those issues more commands available for you are can be found in package json and in the uh, script field so you can also see that there is a style lint and the style lint fix so it works exactly like it worked but in order to get it working you need to go to source folder and copy the style lint uh, rc file so we copy it here and we paste it and possibly in the next revisions of Scandi PWA, the style lint will be copied by default to the original folder. So you will just need to rename it. But overall, you also need a style lint RC here, and you need a style lint um, style lint uh, extension here. So you're enabling it. Style lint. I'm sorry, this one style lint, not the style lint. Not this one, but style lint. The black one. So when you enabled it, you can try opening up. Let's check if we can do it. Extend some source component. Let's select, for example, add to cart. Let's skip style class container. Let's only um, extend the styles. And as you might notice, now there are uh, notices from our style lint about the code. And if we run npm run style lint fix, we can check if we can fix anything. 
yeah, we can see that it cannot fix the uh, empty blocks. So it just <laughs> it just recommends us to write something inside, for example, like display none. And that's it. So here is how you can um, here is how you can configure the YesLint and StyleLint on your projects. Notice that you can run YesLint and StyleLint in your GitHub in Actions or on any other um, CI or CD tool. So here in Actions we have, uh, for example, YesLint, and you can copy the configuration of it. No, and you can copy the configuration from .github workflows main YAML where the YesLint action is uh, described. Here you can see that we are checking out a theme, then we are setting up the node, see, installing the dependencies and then running the YesLint and StyleLint. And we are using the output commands to comment on the pull requests. So, thank you guys for watching. This was the tutorial on installing and configuring YesLint and StyleLint for your projects. I hope you will manage this successfully. Happy coding and have a nice day. Bye.